Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. Yes, I'm back finally. Jay and I have been away. We went to Hawaii, went to Las Vegas. We've got a lot of stuff going on. So I'm going to share this with you in this vlog. I'm going to take you to Hawaii and a few other places. So you know the drill. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me. So we did the convention and we were, in, we were in Vegas for four days for our annual convention. I work for a company that is affiliated with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services and Berkshire Hathaway Home Services puts on an annual conference or convention every year. This year it was in Vegas. Next year it's in New Orleans, which I'm really looking forward to. So anyways, we flew to Vegas on a Saturday morning and the convention, everything started Sunday. It was a intensely busy few days. I'm going to superimpose some photos here so you can see. Intensely busy few days. We did a whole lot, including, um, you know, some fun stuff. We had classes as well as entertainment. That guy was fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. On the last day of the convention, Thursday it was last day of the convention was Tuesday night. Jay and I ended up not doing much on Tuesday night. We ended up going to bed early because we had a super early flight out the next morning because we were going to Hawaii. So yeah, we we had booked a um, a little condo and the condo was beautiful. Wait till you see it. We had booked a little condo in, and I definitely think this was a hidden gem in Maui. And we were only going to be there for four days, you know, four nights, five days, I think it was. It was a short, short trip. So we flew out. We had all these excursions booked. We are going to do a sunset cruise. We were going to do, um, we, Jay was going to golf. We were going to go out to dinner in a few different places. And we just had it all really planned. Well, by the time we landed, Jay started to feel poorly. And it just continued. Oh, we got a rental car. We went to our unit. Uh, we had stopped at a, a store. I got some Theraflu. I thought for sure he's coming down with the flu. And um, But our unit was beautiful. So I'm going to superimpose a bunch of clips and then I'll come back in a little bit. So this is our home for the next few days. I don't know if you can see it, but there's water views. Out of every window. Oh my gosh. Little Lanai. Oh my gosh. It is beautiful. unit. Stairs. This is what we heard magnified all last night. Banana. Isn't that cool? It's interesting, I did not know they did it this way. Or this way. <laughs> it is so beautiful here. These rocks are slick. But people go down there. Look at 
just about to your high rise down there. So this place is for sale. 16 million. Amazing views. And look at the turtles. I know they blend in with the rocks. That's actually turtles right there. Right there. <laughs> Yes. So I'm at the edge of the pool. There's the ocean. Some shroud worry. And that very corner unit right there is where Jay and I are staying. 128. This is definitely a hidden gem. Having my morning coffee on the lanai. Listen to the waves. They've actually calmed down a bit. It was a little bit more louder last night, but that's all we heard. And Jay sniffling. Poor guy got sick. If you look closely, you'll see whales jumping. We saw so many whales, it was incredible. We never had to move from our lanai to see them. The views were endless. Of course, it would have been really cool to be out in the boat there watching, but this was perfect. Look at that. Wow. How big it is. Every night but one, we had perfect, perfect sunsets. Just a gorgeous spot. Loved watching the sun set over the Pacific. Good morning from Maui. I think it's 6, 6.06 a.m. And Maui is waking up. Last night, we sat on our lanai and we watched the whales jump out here. It was insane how many whales we saw right from this spot. They came out from our lanai. It was really amazing. And every day on the other side of this building, there are huge turtles. I'm going to try to film them today, but today's our last full day. And it's going to be so sad to leave this place. And I'm brewing some coffee. This is where we came and saw the turtles yesterday. I don't think. 16 million. I don't think they're going to be out today yet. Unless they come out in a certain period of time. Yesterday, this was full of big turtles. Hawaiian green sea turtle. It looked like the rocks were turtles. It looked like it was just rocks, but they were turtles. So, amazing. So I think we picked the perfect spot to be in because 
neither one of us are high rise people, although we've stayed in high rises. We have no problem staying in high rises, but neither one of us are super high rise people. And this was just a, a perfect, a perfect little place. It was close to the pool. It was close to downtown if we wanted to go downtown. But poor Jay just kept getting sicker and sicker and sicker. And he didn't do anything. We canceled everything he had wanted to do his golf, everything we had wanted to do as a couple, everything was canceled. So he ended up spending the majority of his time in a lounge chair on the lanai or in bed. That's how sick he was. I spent the majority of my time uh, at the pool and enjoying the ocean and walking around. And that's what I did. And I, I said, well, if he has to be sick in this place, I'm so happy we're in a location like this where it was first floor. I could just walk out in the morning, in the evening, sit in the lanai. I could see the water, smell the water, feel the water. Um, it was just a perfect spot for us. Sadly, being sick was not all that good, but perfect spot. So on the last day, we decided that he decided he felt well enough to maybe go out for a ride to explore the island as long as I did the driving. So we drove, I'm going to superimpose a little map from our unit where the red mark is. We went on all the way on the upper end of the mount of the island, not, not, not the road to Hana, that's the completely other side of the island. And we went down a road that was a beautiful, well-maintained road, but I could tell we were way off the beaten path. There wasn't a whole lot of traffic, and the road was very, very windy. And as you can see from some of the photos I'm enclosing here, the views were phenomenal. They were phenomenal views. We stopped, we took pictures. I had started to feel like maybe we should turn around because Jay really wasn't feeling all that good. And he was like, nah, nah, let's keep going. So we did. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> this part of the road was really nice. The scenery was beautiful, the water. What made me nervous is there was absolutely no shelter anywhere. And you could see how rocks were coming down. And they had like all these little signs saying falling rocks and, you know, be careful and all that stuff. But it was a beautiful ride, not a whole lot of people out, but it was starting to get a wee bit nervous. I don't want to go too close to the edge here. And against our better judgment, or my better judgment, we kept going. And then we would start to get into some traffic jams on this 10 miles of one lane road. I cannot believe that they have two way traffic on a road like this. At the end of that ride, well, not the end of the ride, at one point on the ride, we saw a sign. The two lane road never had any kind of a, a shoulder that you could pass or get off the road. They had certain spots where there was, you know, lookout points, but that was about it. And um, then there was a sign that said, next 10 miles, one lane road. Now we're in a two lane road with traffic both ways. So I'm thinking, okay, well, it's going to be a wide road. Oh my gosh. No. You saw how that road got narrow. It got narrow. It got narrow. It got to the point where we almost couldn't go any further. There was a little bit of a traffic jam because people coming the other direction had to also pass and there was no place to safely get off the road. When we got to a place where that sold um, a little, little like trailer on the side of the road and they had things set up for um, smoothies and water and tonic and stuff like that. We went in there and we, I said to Jay, I think we have to turn around because it said next 10 miles and we'd probably gone about two miles at that point in time. And it was hairy. It was scary. I don't know how I drove it. And he was getting sicker and sicker because there were hairpin curves. Um, there was no place to, there was, you couldn't see what was in front of you. It was just really frightening. 
So we talked to some people that were coming the other way and they said, you know, if you continue this way, it's going to be worse because it's, you've got a longer way of that one lane road with two way traffic. So we made the decision to go back. I was like, oh my gosh. So I drove poor Jay back. Afterwards, he complimented my driving skill, skills. I did feel like like Mario and Ready or something. I was like taking those corners. You couldn't see what was ahead of you. Um, I was scared like crazy, but ended up doing the uh, going back. And poor Jay was so sick that entire night. He was car sick on top of being sick. So... The flu, all of a sudden on that particular day, I was starting to get it too. I could feel it in my voice. I started to cough a little bit, but nothing minor. And we just, I don't know where he got the flu bug from. And that was really what we thought he had a flu bug. Well, we did have masks with us. We didn't want to try to spread the flu and all that. We ended up flying home on Sunday morning. And we, ended, well, not, we ended up flying to Vegas on Sunday morning because we were going to do an overnight on Vegas and then come home Monday. And that's exactly what we did. Both of us not feeling the greatest, but not feeling, I was okay, but just not 100% by any stretch. We got home late Monday night. Jay was really bad, really bad. And I was nervous about coming home because prior to leaving, I had had a, um, a bad mammogram. And then I had to have the mammogram redone. And then the results of that was that I need a biopsy and I had to visit with an oncologist. So I knew as soon as I got home on Tuesday um, morning, um, the following day, Wednesday, was my oncologist visit and then I would have the biopsy on Friday. So I was really nervous, especially everything that's happening with Babs Take Control of Beauty. Those of you that follow her, you know that she's got a cancer diagnosis and um, is really going through a tough, tough time and needs all of our prayers. We all need to pull for her. She's a sweetheart and I am, I've been praying for her every day. But anyways, um, came home and on that Tuesday morning, I just felt awful and I said, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and take a COVID test. So I knew I had some COVID test samples, so I pulled it out, took a COVID test. I couldn't believe it. I was positive. I was like, oh my God, OMG. Um, and then Jay took it and he was positive and I retook it. So both of us were positive. So I had to cancel my oncologist. I don't know when we got it. Um, we ended up calling the Dr. Jay's on antibiotics. I'm on that COVID um, pro pro proxal love or whatever it is, that COVID medicine, I'm on that. Um, but we had to, I had to cancel everything and then reschedule. So vacation <laughs> was awesome, except for the flu, which I am assuming that's what we, he had. And I'm not too sure. Maybe it was COVID all along. I don't know. The good thing is that we were totally isolated on everything. Um, the whole time he stayed inside. <laughs> we didn't go anywhere. So, uh, and even on the plane, we wore masks. But um, how we got it and all that is a total mystery because not to have a vax or anti-vax conversation, but we both got vaccinated. We both got boosters. I figured at our age, 69, you know, we didn't want to take any chances. So, um, yeah. So here we are. <laughs> so that's our vacation vlog. That's what's happening in my life. I'm feeling better today. I don't know how long it's going to take to fully get over this. I'll take another COVID test probably Monday because my oncologist appointment is Wednesday and I have to be symptom free, obviously, to maintain, to keep that appointment. And I'm a little nervous because I had a lumpectomy in 2014, so I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm very positive overall. I think it, everything is going to be fine. And... I pray that it's going to be fine. Anyways, keep your thoughts positive for me as well. I would appreciate that. And for those of you that watched to the very end, I'm sorry <laughs> about this long monologue, but um, I just I just wanted to give you an update. The funny thing is when I went on vacation, I brought a wig with me. So when I would go out, it didn't have to fuss with my hair. I also brought one of my favorite toppers with me. And then I brought, I got this new um, powder, fill-in powder. 
and uh, I brought that with me and I'm going to talk about that in my next video but holy camoly I never used a wig I never used a topper the entire time of course it didn't go anywhere right I mean I was walking around the complex but still you, even if you're walking around a complex you want to you want your hair to look halfway decent. You, you don't want it to look awful. But that fill-in powder was awesome stuff. So I was really happy with that. I got that sent complimentary. I'm also getting a couple of toppers to review. Um, they should be coming in really soon. And I love toppers. I think toppers are, for me anyways, my level of hair thinning. They, they're hair. I don't even like to call them toppers because to me they're just hair enhancements. That's what they are. And that's how I think of them. So I've got those. Those should be coming in soon. I'm looking forward to reviewing them and, um, and sharing them with you. So thank you all so much for watching my video. Jay's peeping in over the... How you feeling, mister? Not too bad. Yeah? You think you're over the COVID? I don't know. You'll have to, you'll have to test. I don't think you should test right away, babe. You want to come say hi to my friends? No. No. Okay. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.